This is Tech Talk HSC El Paso. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and I have your news and events for this week. This month, the TTUHC El Paso Center for Advanced Teaching and Assessment in Clinical Simulation, the Regional Simulation and Training Center, and the Gail Grieve Hunt School of Nursing Simulation Lab hosted the first interprofessional health education workshop. The event brought together 180 professionals from 10 different medical programs from a spectrum of specialty areas in the region. The focus was to depict the treatment of various complications associated with diabetes and pregnancy in a collaborative and cross-disciplinary environment. Twelve skill stations allowed pharmacy, sonography, and nursing students to interact with clinicians in a way they wouldn't necessarily be able to in a clinical setting. We realized uh, throughout this workshop uh, and through our debrief that uh, more uh, efficient communication and uh, collaboration, and also prevention of conflicts among different professions and disciplines will lead to more efficient care, will improve the quality of our services, and will ultimately lead to patient safety. And I think that it is uh, in alignment with patient-centered care. And this is the trend elsewhere, but also here, and I hope that this is, as I stated before, just uh, the first in the series of the workshops that is going to take place uh, on our campus. Three Gail Grieve Hunt School of Nursing alumni recently graduated from their nursing residency at University Medical Center of El Paso. They were part of the program's fourth cohort. The UMC residency program is designed to facilitate the transition from academia to the hospital setting. Nurse residents worked in a variety of hospital departments, including the intensive care unit, emergency department, and geriatric services, among others. Congratulations to Texas Tech Police Department's George Stoltz, who's been promoted to lieutenant. Also, congratulations to Gus Martinez, who retired after more than 35 years in law enforcement, 14 years of which were spent right here at TTUHC El Paso. For more information about these and other stories, visit eptechview.ttuhsc.edu. Guns up, we'll see you next week.